My XJ-9 is not a danger to anyone! Mom! I'd like to make a confession. I never exactly watched my life as a teenage robot while I was growing up. And I really wish I had, because nearly everything about this show fits right in with my interests. Robots, superheroes, female protagonists, shape-oriented character designs, and retro-futuristic art styles are what I live for. Or at least, I'm pretty sure it's the future, because my life as a teenage robot takes place in a world with extraterrestrial aliens, a global police force, and robots built to defend planet Earth. Such is the case with XJ-9, an android with the mind of a teenager created by Dr. Nora Wakeman. XJ-9 is literally a superhero, but she would much rather live a normal life as Jenny Wakeman rather than fight evil all the time. Despite not having a secret identity on Earth, our protagonist must still find a balance between her friends, her mother, being Jenny, and being XJ-9. It's always great to see a cartoon series with a female lead, and I really appreciate how My Life as a Teenage Robot handled their main character. Jenny is feminine, but not stereotypically feminine. She wears blue as opposed to pink, and even though she's a six foot tall teenager with typically girly interests, Jenny is usually on the same level of maturity as whoever happens to be watching her, be they an adult, a child, or a teenager. Jenny is so cool! My favorite thing about my life as a teenage robot is its appearance. The color scheme changes depending on its scenery, the art style is reminiscent of old Hanna-Barbera and 1940s cartoons, and the fusion of Art Deco with the aesthetics of the 1960s lends itself really well to the series. It kind of reminds me of the video game Jazz Punk, Chibi Robo, and the Pixar movie The Incredibles, which also focused on superheroes and robots. Now, if you want substance over style, what my life as a teenage robot does best is how it will often take a cliched or predictable storyline and run completely against it. If humor is derived from what's unexpected, then this cartoon never misses a beat. Like most comedies, my life as a teenage robot doesn't really have a main plot, just reoccurring characters, like Jenny's prototype sisters, the adorable Kilgore, and the Cluster Empire, a race of alien robots who serve as XJ-9's arch-villains. The highlight of the series would have to be its hour-long special Escape from Cluster Prime which actually brought about a lasting change to the show, and ultimately led to Jenny accepting Earth as her true home. The biggest reasons to watch My Life as a Teenage Robot are for its futuristic aesthetic, the pop culture references, and the character of XJ-9. She may not have been a completely flawless person, or even human for that matter, but people still liked her because she was interesting. Jenny and XJ-9 aren't alter egos or personas or secret identities 
they're the same person. The only one who can decide who you truly are is you. My life as a teenage robot was a cartoon about identity, family, superheroes, artificial intelligence, what it means to be human, and a girl who just wanted to fit in. It may not always be perfect or normal or everything you expect it to be, but hey, that's life as a teenage robot. Wow, that guy can't take a hint. <laughs> 